Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Dante Jones here with 772 Mobile Detail and today we're going to get into part three of my three-part series, how I took my business from zero dollars to fifty thousand dollars a year. Now before I start breaking everything down, what you're seeing right now is me preparing my thank you towels that I leave behind for each and every client that I work with. In a later video, I will get much more in depth into how exactly I create, print, laminate, and put out these thank you letters for my clients but quickly i just wanted to show you guys how i get it done and maybe when you guys see how easy and quick it is it will inspire you to do the same for your clientele and to begin setting yourself apart by doing these extra steps before you even go out and touch the vehicles that you're working on last video very quickly we smashed the like goal of 30 likes let's try to get 35 likes here on this video so we can get the next one uploaded now after a couple of folded edges and pressing down with one hand i usually do this with two hands but i only have one hand available as i'm holding the camera so you guys can see what i'm doing but after a couple of folds here and there with the towel we now can put in our pre-made thank you letter that i created myself as well as the business cards that i use i now also have youtube cards where clients can scan the qr code right after i'm done with the detail and get straight into the youtube channel now with that out of the way, let's get into the value, the content, the education that you guys are here for, here a part of the three-part series. Again, how I took my business from $0 to $50,000 a year. If you missed part one or part two, check the description box below where I've linked both videos as well. As far as the content within these videos, part one was me breaking down my initial approaches, what worked, what did not work, my initial income and how it elevated over time as well as my mistakes, things I would recommend you guys steer away from. If you're a new business or a detailer that has not gotten a bunch of clientele yet, I do highly recommend you go back and take a look at that video. Part two was my winning formula. So what works for me right now? How am I able to stay at the income levels that I'm at without faltering, without failing, and while working reasonable hours? I could be working way more than I am, but for energy reasons, for time reasons, I work a part-time schedule when you look at the hours in totality, but I make full-time income. And that is a perfect segue into part three, where I do want to explain what I want to do this upcoming year to continue elevating my income, elevating my business without burning out, without falling off the wagon. It may happen still, even with the precautions I will be taking, but I will be getting very thorough with my strategy and plan, at least to start off the year. Do I see myself getting employees? Do I see myself expanding the business into a shop? Do I view my entity as something that needs to be more specialized into paint correction and ceramic coatings? These are all things that I will discuss, but I do want to say and make very clear that my approach does not be your approach. There is no law or guideline to building your detailing business. There are laws involved, obviously, but there's no sort of handbook for you to look at and say, hey, this is how you build your detailing business. This is the only way. There are multiple ways. This is just my way. So in recent months, and I did touch on this in part two just a tiny bit, but in recent months, I've been seeing a steady increase in ceramic coating clients. I am a certified ceramic coating installer with a company called System X. They are not the only coding company that requires certification, but the fact that they do require certification shows that you must know what you are doing before you get your hands on these coatings. You can't get them from the retail stores. You can't get them from Walmart. You have to order them through the supplier themselves. I would say I got certified, let's call it a year and a half ago, give or take, but it really wasn't until four to five months ago where I've started seeing more consistency with acquiring coding clients. The number one way you're going to grow your business, as I mentioned many, many times before, is word of mouth. But this especially applies to ceramic coatings. Word of mouth has gotten me 100% of my ceramic coating clients. I'll say that again. 100% of my coating clients have come from word of mouth, someone recommending me. Even if I'm not the guy that applied the coating and I'm coming to maintenance it, just me talking about the coding and my knowledge of the coding itself and the way I explain it to the client makes them comfortable with me 
This is why a common theme on my channel, something I will never let go of, is the customer service and communication aspect of detailing because it will carry you farther than you think. I say all this to say I have not marketed my ceramic coating jobs at a high level. I plan on changing that this year. I didn't want to dive too quickly into doing ceramic coating jobs because I like seeing my business grow in phases and I don't like to overwhelm myself. So I'm comfortable with interior and exterior detailing. Does it pay as good as ceramic coatings? No. In the distant future, I envision myself doing only ceramic coating jobs. But for the time being, I really love what I do and the level of service I'm able to achieve for people that I work for, right? I don't have a overwhelming desire to increase my income at a high, high degree. But in 2024, I do definitely want to boost my numbers quite a bit if possible. So a way that I can continue doing the details that I like doing, such as my maintenance details, my interior and exterior details, etc., while steadily increasing my income month over month, I can continue to supplement more ceramic coating clients. So I started off with one in a month, right? A couple months later, I got two in a month. Then I got four in a month. Now I'm getting them almost once a week or at least going out for quotes once a week for ceramic coatings. With word of mouth being understood as a vital part of growing your ceramic coating client base, it's also good to have some things in place for your clients to look at before they even speak to you. Most of the clients that I get from my website, for example, are already sold on a ceramic coating before I even speak to them. And that's because I provide an overwhelming amount of information on ceramic coatings and i even link my clients to videos from my coating company so they get the best understanding possible of the ceramic coatings this saves me from having to pull up and explain everything top to bottom about ceramic coatings and oftentimes the clients are just ready to get the coating installed they just have to figure out what price point is best for them right without my website being there as a resource of information to the clients that see my page, see my website and get word of mouth from clients that I work for currently, they may be much less likely to work with me because they are not necessarily educated enough to understand the value that they're receiving from things like a ceramic coating. Now we're quite a bit into the video and I have yet to mention anything about employees or a garage or a shop. I don't envision myself doing any of those things at least for a couple years and I attribute that mentality to my minimalist kind of approach to life in general. I don't like having a bunch of things to worry about and adding employees to the fold right this second just would not be ideal. In addition to that, a shop isn't necessarily ideal either. I get plenty of mobile clients and I would love to have a stationary shop eventually but right now my expenses are low. My income is at a steady increase. I enjoy what I do. I like experiencing a new location every day. I feel like it adds to my work experience overall. And I don't really have any problems with how I do things right now. And truth be told, this channel is coming around at the perfect time. I want to be able to brainstorm my exact strategies and show you guys what fails and what works in real time as I do it so we can together learn how to continue building a successful and reliable detailing business. So at a surface level, my plan overall for this upcoming year is to continue building my maintenance list over time, continue taking on full details when necessary and begin actually trying to attain ceramic coating clients as well as paint correction clients. These are two things I have yet to go aggressive on when it comes to my marketing and when it comes to sharing my business, but I feel like 2024 is my time to shine in that category as I am very comfortable with my skills now. I have a lot of experience and it's time for me to show everyone what I can do. So with all that being said, we are finally wrapping up my three part series to how I built my $0 business to a $50,000 business. And hopefully the next time around that I can make a 
series like this we're talking about how i took my business from a fifty thousand dollar business to a six figure business now if you guys have found any of this content helpful educational or inspiring please hit that like button leave a comment leave me any suggestions and tell me below what is going to be your business strategy for this upcoming year in 2024 in addition to that i want to give you guys a sincere thank you we have been building this channel at a very steady pace and i am happy to say that at the moment that i'm recording i have hit 171 subscribers so continue sharing the word continue hitting that subscribe button let's keep growing this thing slowly but surely over time and eventually i hope to leave a very good impact on the detailing industry thank you guys for watching this video i'll be back very soon with some more y'all know what to do stay blessed hustle harder than the next catch you next time dante out